Sometimes simplicity is nice. Take the motivation of the protagonists of Mercenaries 2 World and Flames. In cash we trust. Simple, easy to understand and get behind. Similarly, the main motivation for the players. Blowing shit up is super awesome. Simple, nice. You can play as one of three characters with slightly different attributes. Matthias, a tough guy who regenerates health quicker, Chris, who is strong and can carry more ammo, or Jennifer, who moves more quickly than the others. The controls all feel good, and as well as the usual bevy of guns, you can call in heavy support like airstrikes with your D-pad, and even single-handedly take on tanks and helicopters with set animations and quick-time events. You also have a handy PDA with GPS, and a support character feeding you information as you go. There's also quite a lot of driving and a wide range of vehicles to try out, including some rather nice nippy motorbikes. Driving controls have been mapped to the face buttons, which is a little unusual, but it all works well. The difference from other FPS games in how you go about blowing shit up is that everything costs something. You're running your own PMC, and so, for example, every time you call in an airstrike, you have to pay for it. Fuel, pilot, missiles, etc. Even killing a civilian costs you, as you have to bribe the press to keep it quiet. You also don't have an unlimited supply of tools of the trade, so you'll have to keep an eye on your stock and buy or steal what you need, and hire the right people to help build your empire. Thankfully, in this Venezuela, there are lots of big stacks of cash and stashes of cluster bombs and other goodies lying around just metres from the roadside for you to salvage. The PMC Gun for Hire take also gives the missions a nice angle once you get into the more open world part of the game. As taking on jobs for one faction will usually involve pissing off another one, you have to be careful about what you take on and how you go about it. But while this does have that open world feel, there's still a lot of structure and linearity to missions, and that's probably going to divide opinion. As I said, there's something nice about simplicity, but a lot of hardcore gamers will probably resent being guided so strongly. And similarly, the difficulty level is a bit of a poke in the eye to the true shooter aficionado. Your health regenerates quickly and automatically, making it pretty easy to avoid death, and the enemy AI is embarrassingly poor in what is otherwise a well put together game. All this results in something that is fun to blast through, but not really a huge challenge. There are also other little annoyances, like the not fantastic and very repetitive incidental dialogue, and enemies who continuously respawn, rather than letting you get that area cleared satisfaction before you move on. In terms of environment though, Mercenaries is still one of the greats of the genre. The area is well designed and well populated, with civilians, police and criminals doing their own thing, and lots of, well just general stuff which makes it feel lived in. All of which is destructible, and gloriously so. Graphics are generally pretty good, and blowing stuff up looks great. In conclusion, this is a fun game that feels good to play, but probably isn't going to change lives, and it won't last too long with the most hardcore review. But it's definitely worth checking out though, and is a great game for bridging the gap between what's available for casual and hardcore gamers. Four stars. Hey! <laughs>